Hey guys, welcome back. Just Card Rob. What do we got? All right, there was some interest in my rechargeable, rechargeable spot sprayer. Okay, all you do is you put a mixture of your favorite paint and thinner in here. Well, I mix it up outside, make sure I get the right thickness. Unscrew the top. Fill it up. Like that. Screw the top back on, like that. Schrader valve, air. Put air in it. Got charged up and squirt, squirt, squirt. Just like a regular paint can, except you can mix your own colors and put it in here. I do have a top that goes on it somewhere out there. A little metal top clips in right there. Clip. All right. All right. All right. You seen what happened to Yoda's head in the first part? Popped the big chip right out of there, and I don't know where it went. So, so much for that. But, haha, -ha, Yoda 2. We're going to be carving. We're going to be using our Dremel. Dremel. With the course, regular course, regular course, regular course, cut saw burr. Same thing, we got our micro motor set up with Dremel Fine, or not Dremel, bloop, bloop, with the uh, micro carver with the gold, cut saw gold, regular fine. It's fine, okay? And who knows what other things we're going to throw in there. OCC, two and a half inch knife, maybe. Okay, we've got, got some cleaning up to do, and we'll be right back, and then we'll fire up the noisemakers and do some carving. All right? All right. All right, guys, I sped this up for you. Bulk wood removal. Boring, 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 boring. Bulk wood removal. So that's what we're doing here. We're just rounding everything over. Hopefully this head don't explode on me. Because my head's about ready to explode. Hi evil evil Rick. Haven't said hi to evil evil Rick in a while. Evil evil Rick has a YouTube channel. One of these days he'll put some new video on there for us. Uh, we switched over from the coarse to the fine. Just in case you're wondering, course to define flame burr cuts all, and that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep shaping this and shaping it. And evil, evil Rick ain't making us no videos. Evil Rick, where's the videos, evil Rick? See, Jordy's working on his big wood spirit chainsaw, wood spirit carving guy. Yep. That's what he's doing. Wow. Man, if I could only carve that fast, I'd be in business, wouldn't I? Uh-huh. So we're bouncing between working on this carving guy and working on a truck at the same time. So putting a body filler on the truck, it takes about 20 minutes for it to set up. So then while that's doing that, I come in here and carve for 20 minutes. And then I run back out there and sand it. Sand, 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 prime, 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 and then back in here, 20 minutes, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we got the fine taper burr. Cuts all, fine taper burr. We're rounding the back of his head over. Yep. Just give him a, carve that shape, getting a shape. There's a lot of shaping going on here, guys. This guy is going to take forever. That's why we had to speed this film up. Hi, Anna. Spike, you guys, Crossbones Cowboy, he's got a YouTube uh, channel too, Crossbones Cowboy, you want to go over and check him out, Calvin and Hobbies, he said he's going to change his name, so uh, I don't know where to tell you to go, 
he made an announcement the other night that he's changing the name of his YouTube station, channel, whatever. And I don't think he's made up his mind yet, but the last time I knew it was Calvin, Calvin and Hobbies. 12-year-old fellow carving up there. I think he's in Canada. Uh, we're back to the flame burr. The coarse flame burr from Cutsaw. Uh, Calvin. Yeah. Hi, Calvin. Keep carving, man. Just carve. Just carve, Calvin. And, um, yeah, BAP. BAP. I can carve, BAP. So can I. Yep, Bap's over there carving away. Got a shaping disc from Cuts All. Some Cuts All burrs. The man is ecstatic with his Cuts All. He loves his Cuts All. We all love our Cuts All burrs. But Bap, I think he's got a special love affair going on with his carbide burr or his uh, <laughs> Cuts All burrs. Uh, I mean, he's even writing it in sawdust. I love Cuts All. So, yeah, go check out Bap at I Can Carve. Guy's a heck of a carver. All right, yep. Yep, well, good old Bap. Yeah, let's uh, Ben over there at Studio on the Lake. We got a ruby burr in here with a 130 second collet. We're 330 seconds collet. And uh, we're using our micro motor. We're cutting eyeballs in. Okay, uh, yeah, I started doing this and I forgot to, I thought I turned the camera on, but apparently I did not. So. We're just cutting eyeballs in here. Thank uh, Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. Kevin Doherty over there in uh, Pennsylvania. Giving some awesome uh, classes on eyeballs. Tutorials over there at uh, Wood Carvers Helpers. Don't forget about Carving Fusion. We're all the wood carvers, guys. Post your stuff. I'd love to see what you're making. I do, I do. And we got four days uh, for the Dremel Maker Studio thing to go off. Remember to go over there and vote for Glenn. Glenn, Glenn, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Yay, Glenn. All right, Glenn. Yeah, let's uh, vote for Glenn if we can. Dremel Makers Studio, guys. Go vote for Glenn. I think the uh, thing for this month was the uh, has to be a flat pack gift, something you can put in an envelope and mail. And uh, Glenn dreamed up a wiener, so go check out Glenn's stuff. All right, and we are not being sponsored by Glenn. Just in case you're wondering, we just like Glenn. Glenn's a nice guy. And uh, yeah. Of course, we love Carbon Fusion, our buddy Jordy over at Carbon Fusion. Fusion, Fusion, Carbon Fusion. Gordy's the man with the cottonwood bark. He's also a heck of an artist. Love Gordy's work, Jordy, Jordy's work over there. Lots of good channels to watch, folks. Lots of good channels. Kyle Hall. Kyle Hall's a chainsaw carver and a wood carver, and he's carving all kinds of crazy stuff over there at uh, Kyle Hall Woodworking. So check out Kyle Hall. Yeah, Kyle's a good guy too. Although he never says hi to me anymore. He, what's the matter, Kyle? No love for just carve Rob anymore? You don't write? You don't send flowers? What's going on with that? Now, who else do we got? Oh, we said Evil Evil Rick. There's so many good channels to watch out there. Glenn, uh, Gene Messer. The legend, the myth. Gene Messer. I think uh, he was on YouTube uh, before when YouTube just crawled out of its infancy. Like uh, that that uh, Kevin over there at Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. He's been around for a bazillion years too. Then we got uh, Doug Lanker. If you guys like carving these small guys, Doug does it all with a knife. What a craftsman Doug is. Inspiration, too. Go check out Doug Lanker. He's, he's got an awesome YouTube channel. Although, Doug, you haven't been pumping out the videos like you used to, but life, life and family gets in the way. We all know how that works. 
So, yeah, we got a long ways to go on this Yoda guy. Long, long, long ways to go. Just playing around with the eyeballs. See, I put the eyeballs in real early on this carving because I want to mess around with them. Your eyeballs got to be sunk in below your nose. So, I just wanted to mess around with doing eyeballs. So, I figured why not start them and then push them in deeper, right? Like Jordy says, carve deeper, 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 carve it in deeper, guys. This guy's kind of looking like one of them little gremlin guys, I think. Yeah, we'll see how he turns out after we get get closer to getting him done. His head is way too big for his face right now. But that's okay because his wood, little wooden square body is way too big for what it's going to be. So we got to squeeze his head down. We got to shrink it down. We'll put him in the put him in the shrinker and we'll we'll shrink him down. All right. So are we having fun yet? I'm having fun. I think his nose wound up being a, it's getting a little bit small, but Yoda's got, the Yoda I was looking at, it's got a small nose anyway. So we just, uh, we'll see how that all works out. Might have to do some plastic putty surgery on his nose and make it bigger. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If at first you don't succeed, use epoxy sculpt. <laughs> right, Jordy? All right. So, I think that's where I'm going to stop for the evening. I think, I think, I think. All right, all right. All right, guys. That's it for Yoda for today. So share, subscribe, and like. All that good stuff. We still got a long ways to go with this head. But uh, I think he's still looking more like uh, one of them gremlins than a Yoda. But we still got a long ways to go, guys. A long ways to go. All right. Thanks to... Uh, Kevin over at Six and Stones for helping me out with my eyes and uh, Ben over at Studio on the Lake for sending me some basswood and uh, Cleve up there in Canada, Cleve's Backyard Woodworking, uh, BAP at I Can Carve, and uh, Glenn. Don't want to butcher your last name again, Glenn, but thanks for the support, buddy. Anna, thank you. Uh, Spike, all you guys, DeGrass, 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 okay, um, all you guys, I really appreciate it, hey, we have hit 1,500, 1,500 subs, woo, all right, that's awesome, thank you guys so much for subscribing, you don't know how much I appreciate it. All right, so, thank you all, and I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Just carve, be awesome, carve something awesome, guys, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, all right, bye.